I think we can all agree that food is amazing. Because if we didn't eat food, we'd all be dead. As a matter of fact, I'm eating this lasagna as I record this audio. Really good. There's so many different kinds of food and with that many different ways to make it. Chicken is a great example of this. You got so many different ways of making it. Barbecue, buffalo, honey garlic, boneless. And it's not just flavor. You could make chicken breasts. You can make chicken strips. You can make chicken wings. You can make chicken nuggets. Hold up. I'm gonna go conduct some interviews. What is your favorite kind of chicken? Your mother. Your mother. Thanks for being a part of this experience. Well, that didn't turn out how I wanted. The point is, much like my Minecraft with your food, you can get creative. I just mentioned Minecraft for the love of God! Let's talk about some food. Shrimp pasta. Making shrimp is super easy. As of the time I'm recording this audio, I've only known how to cook shrimp for one month. And honestly, I should have learned earlier. Here's an easy way to make it right here. Get a pan, throw down some butter, make sure your shrimp is defrosted before you put it in, throw in some spices, mix it all around, and after about five minutes of cooking, it should be ready. And it's really that easy. Now, the shrimp I showed you guys was oven cooked Cajun shrimp. Now, this is a bit more difficult to make, but it's still fairly easy. Take a cup of oil, about two tablespoons of honey, a little bit of teriyaki sauce, oh yeah, and some dried parsley, cayenne, and oregano, some pepper, and of course, your Cajun spice. You take all that and mix it into a bowl. Then you throw in your shrimp, which I really hope you washed beforehand. Let the shrimp marinate in there for about an hour. Once it's done marinating, throw a sheet of tin foil onto your pan, get all of that shrimp on there, and finally put it in the oven for 10 minutes at 370 degrees. Now when it's done cooking, there's going to be a good amount of liquid left on the tin foil, but don't worry about that. That's just how science works. And boom, just like that, you got yourself some hot spicy shrimp, but do you want to know what is hotter than that? My mixtape coming out on the 30th of February, 2022. That is correct. That is the date my mixtape will come out. It has such original songs, such as Gangnam Style. <laughs> We know you not like rice. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Cooking rice takes a lot of practice. At least it did for me. It took me like a year to nail it down. Now I can almost guarantee on this planet right here, someone nailed it on their first attempt. Respect to that person. Anyways, besides that, my personal favorite rice is basmati. And let me tell you, eating it plain is boring. So let me tell you some stuff you can do with it. Sauce to me is essential when it comes to eating rice. If you want my two cents, I recommend teriyaki or soy sauce. Now as most of us know, rice tends to to be eaten as a side dish. Unless you're eating stir-fried rice, which is really good, and it's also really simple. Get yourself a frying pan, some rice, some meat, and some sauces and spices and mix it all together. Choosing the meat to go in your stir-fried rice is up to you, but I personally prefer beef or chicken. Anyways, let's talk about one last food. The food that got me into cooking in the first place, even though like 95% of it is already made. And its name is canned pasta! Chef This is not cooking from scratch, but hey, it got me into making food. Cooking Chef Boyardee is probably one of the easiest things a human can do. Just throw that bad boy in a pot and put it on a heating element. And not even 10 minutes later... Mmm, so tasty! Now what I did with mine was that I would add spices. I added turmeric, paprika, chili powder, cayenne, salt, pepper, and I think that was it. So if you're ever feeling lazy and you have some Chef Boyardee lying around, give it a try. For me, the owner of the channel Red Rage Knight. Please. And you know what? I cannot come up with something to conclude this video before the end card, so... Rage Knight style, bruh, 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 bruh. Opa, Rage Knight style. Alright, so I'm not quite sure when this video is going to get released. Hopefully sometime before midway through June. If this video goes out late, I am sorry.
but it's because I have been stuck doing online school for three weeks now, and I am the prince of procrastinating. Other than that, I don't have much commentary to add. Today's question is asked by Tin Cant, and they ask, what do you put in your cereal bowl first? The oil, the gunpowder, or the flesh? I'm gonna be real with you, Chief, I never really found flesh that appealing, but I throw in gunpowder, then the oil. Alright, my armored allies, you have a good day. Remember to spread peace and love everywhere you go.